us, I think. So, thank you for joining us, Rod. And then we also have the, you could say, Danish representative, Steve Burrow, from the Department of Animal Sciences, sitting right here, uh, at Aarhus University. So that's the assessment committee. That's all the supervisors. The title is up there. For the next 45 minutes, Yang Chi will give us an overview of her work. We will then have a short break, and then we will start a good, critical, scientific discussion. And the whole procedure will take maximum three hours. Right in the end, you people sitting here, the audience, the floor, will have the opportunity to ask questions. You don't necessarily need to, but you have the opportunity. So, welcome again. And, of course, first of all, welcome to you, Yang Chi. And the floor is yours. I will shut up my mic. Thank you very much, Chairman uh, Richard, for your introduction. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm really glad to see so many of you, my uh, colleagues, friends, and family also, and my supervisors. And uh, thank you again to the assessment committee for evaluating my work and allow me to defend it today. So as you can see, my thesis title is Active Milk for Intensive Activity of Milk or Milk Products in Intensive Nutrition Process in Preterm Piglets as a model for uh, preterm babies. Uh, Richard has uh, presented very nice the organization of the project. I will not go through uh, once again, but I will mention uh, this project is also partly funded by the Danish Agency for Research, uh, Technology and Innovation because they found industrial PhD projects. So this is a picture of uh, a preterm infant. Preterm infant is defined as babies who are born before 37 completed weeks of gestation. Preterm birth is always associated with uh, many uh, postnatal complications and is the leading cause for neonatal death. We also know with the decreased gestational age and decreased birth weight, these postnatal complications have the small offspring and the mortality, morbidity requirements for neonatal care and costs increase dramatically. And these postnatal complications when we talk about how active components if we want to use them in a formula for creation of babies. For some cost uh, from perspectives in this research area, uh, maybe it is I would like to thank many people, my supervisors, uh, Pierre, Derek, Thomas, and supervisor from Al, to NSC from Company of Recently, and I would like to thank my colleagues from both Chinese hospitals, they only have infant formulas, 
So maybe we can try to apply these uh, bovine calcium products to these babies. Um, there they, they have, can have a better uh, outcome. So this would be one of them. And also, as I mentioned, uh, these bioactive uh, WPC produced by decreasing. Yeah. Okay, you want to do that. What were, would be your endpoints? Uh, my endpoints would, would be, be your primary endpoint and why? It will depend on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say that to an ethical committee. No, I don't. <laughs> <know. laughs> uh, or how much resource that I have, because if we want to test, for example, ABC or sepsis, you know, sep sepsis at the endpoints, we will need thousands of babies. Uh, so there, I need more resource. Uh, but if I only have limited uh, resource, I would go for uh, some uh, what's that called peri periclinical outcomes, like we measure um, clin uh, clinically the intestinal function uh, using um, mobility tests or other sugar tests mm -hmm. to see how the absorptive function or permeability the intestine has, or we could use. Uh, okay, but, but, but I. Don't know. Now, uh, the next member of the assessment committee who gets the chance to ask questions here is Steve Gruber from Monash University. Please. Thank you very much for the introduction. And, uh, first of all, I would also like to thank for the invitation to come here today, but also uh, congratulate you with a very nice and clear presentation, I think. Uh, and uh, very well written and uh, clearly under, easily understandable thesis with three papers, uh, very nice. Uh, I think you did a, a very good job here. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Uh, and your thesis contains such huge... No. Because if we can keep uh, these proteins relatively uh, low temperature in the chamber and also the uh, when, when you have these uh, small droplets in the chamber you actually have only the surface that uh, evaporate yep. water yep. but actually you keep quite a uh, relatively low temperature in, yep. the, in the droplets yep. okay so once we have the powder then there is a certain storage of course and how would that influence the bioactive properties uh, storage mm. uh, will definitely Definitely, but will probably influence as well. It could be because uh, you also have uh, lactose in the product, and lactose is a reducing sugar uh, that will cause uh, uh, non enzymatic <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. Well done. Um, that concludes the formal part of the event. Thank you for listening and being here. Oh, and I should mention that I will have a reception on the early back, so if we all go together, it's only two minutes of walk. Congratulations, we really enjoyed it and we really enjoyed being part of your defense. Thank and you. good luck. Thank you very much. So, another week, applause, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you.
and I'll still have your shirt. If you can't do that, then we'll erase your name. Otherwise, we keep. It's already on. I prepare for this. Great. So that all came well. Okay, now I don't think I will spell. Should we accept this? Some are more foreigners than others, or I mean, but it is a big pleasure for all of us that we actually mix these different cultures. And uh, some may say that you are actually quite westernized it's in the future, also with uh, Anna and the relations that we have now built over the last three or four years. Thank, Thank you. you. a speech but I, I really want to thank all of you for coming today and my nice colleagues and supporting me and my fiance and without you I cannot make it and also his parents and I can't support <laughs> but uh, I didn't prepare a lot but uh, enjoy and please open the wine Thank <laughs> you. 